I'm J. Paul Zimmerman, and you're watching Z-60, the ZFO Weekly News Update. This is the week of November 23rd, 2014. We've got some very exciting things to tell you about on this week's show, so let's go ahead and start off by taking a trip to the past with Corey. Corey? Greetings, friends. Corey for Z-60. The year is 1994, and Kevin Smith shoots his first movie shot entirely in black and white. Clerks follows the lives of Dante, his people-hating, Star Wars-loving, cynical best friend Randall them and their lives working in a convenience and video store. After 12 years of silence, Clerks 2 was released in 2006, updating us on the lives of Dante, Randall, and their merry band of misfits. Not much of anything has actually changed. We are, however, introduced to two new characters, Dante and Randall's boss, Becky, and their co-worker, Elias. Fast forward to March 2013, 20 years since the release of Clerks, Kevin Smith confirms, wait for it, the release of Clerks 3. All of our favorite characters will be returning for this trilogy, and I think it's pretty safe to say that we can expect the same nerd jokes and crude humor. To this I say, bring it on. Be sure to stay tuned for more information on Clerks 3. Thank you, Corey. I know we'll all be checking out Clerks 3. Next. Please hold on to your hats or any other accessories you may have brought with you, because this next minute may get a little scary. Jessica, if you please. Hi guys, Jessica Broussard here, delivering you the horror news of the week. This week in American Horror Story, Evan Peters attempts a cover of Come As You Are by Nirvana. What did you guys think? My guess is... Didn't quite hit the nail on the head, buddy. Unfortunately, just like the rest of the covers this season have been... Rest in peace, clown. We miss you. The show just isn't the same without you. If you like The Walking Dead, check out the new upcoming Walking Fred, a series from the guys on Funny or Die, and it features an actual zombie cast member in full prosthetics who blogs directly from the set. Should be fun. Some upcoming DVD Blu-ray releases include As Above, So Below, set to release December 2nd, just in time for the holidays, and Just Missing the Mark is Annabelle, set to release on January 2nd. If you guys want to check out more of what I do throughout the week, you can follow me on Twitter at Jess underscore Broussard, or you can follow me on Instagram at Jessica E. Broussard. See you guys next week. Thank you, Jessica. I am mildly disturbed. And finally, we'd like to bring you a special message from Brendan, broadcast directly from the throne room from deep inside his lair. Brendan? What's up, everybody? This is Brendan McKay giving you your sci-fi and fantasy news. Spoiler alert, I'm in my bathroom. Jurassic World released a 20-second teaser trailer that focuses on the iconic cups of water on the dashboard. Very sensitive, Hollywood. We're in a drought now. Also, where are the dinosaurs? X-Men Apocalypse is recasting Jean Grey and Cyclops, to which most mainstream X-Men fans reply, Uh, which one of them is Wolverine? Schnickety, schnickety, schnick! On December 4th, NBC is going to be airing Peter Pan Live, starring Christopher Walken as Hook and Allison Williams as Peter Pan. This is... confusing... to me. No, not because of Christopher Walken, he's delightful. It's the fact that, once again, Peter Pan is being portrayed by a beautiful woman. Is there not one eligible male eunuch in this town to play Peter Pan? Lord Varys of Lys? I'd pay money to see that. Thank you, Brendan, for that earth-shaking news. This has been J. Paul Zimmerman with Z-60. I will see you in the future.